expected to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Showtime he today, takes baby. it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And he will bowl his way in there for the two points. too excited to get the football, touched it before it went 10 yards. And that's so difficult, isn't it? Because sometimes it can just take a bad hop and veer into your lane or into your body. In this case, though, they touched it before 10. Illegal touching is the call. To throw is Brady. They'll roll him out right. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. That's one where you hold your breath. You got your quarterback out of the pocket trying to thread the needle in this stage of the game. You don't think that maybe on the sideline they're thinking, boy, well, what a great decision. No, actually, they're just fortunate. That one got knocked away. Probably shouldn't have thrown it at all. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Back to throw, Brady. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. But they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are on the field? He's back to throw. Flush to his right. And that will be caught. But out of bounds. Out of bounds, ruled incomplete here. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. They come up here with another shot from the six yard line and it's second and goal now. Brady gives this one off to Jones. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. One final try now for Brady. is now just an extra point away from being full on. Think about those who may have left the stadium a little bit early thinking their guys might not get this done. Oh, it got done, and in a big way. Oh, he missed! Oh, no, he missed the extra point! Victory was in the bag, but not anymore. We're headed for OT. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so 